Nah, cause look at how we get introduced to 13. The pod opens up and bro is already posing. Fist already curled up. Bro, you just spawned. Why is he ready to box? He jumps down and we see he's mad at the world right now. You know he's not going to try to explore the map or anything. He's just trying to find the nearest op to run the fade with. And that right there is why I could not be an Indrigity. Spawning in with ops is just crazy. I can't even enjoy life for real. I just got to start fighting. But anyways, let's see what Goku and Trunks are up to. So they're flying and shit. And look at them, bro. They got that game seven face. They're on a mission right now. And look at the Indrigities. They come out the wall simultaneously. But that theatrical shit wasn't enough for them. So they decided to do some extra shit. Like look at four. 14, he's sliding hey, under yeah. him for no reason and once i saw that i'm like yeah they're not gonna be comp they out here glitching goku and trunks that's a good squad they getting packed up they yeah. finally pull up and look at goku straight me mugging them like they owe him some money once i saw that face i'm like oh yeah they about to get active but man i couldn't have been any more wrong first off they're in base form and when they're in base form you know they're not trying for it but that doesn't excuse what happened the chaozu size and Drigity just looks at trunks and he like oh yeah that's light. Pulls up to him and kicks the shit out of him. Has him ricocheting off walls and shit. How do you let this turp push y'all like that? You guys are a duo of Goku and Trunks. I'd expect this from a sorry ass squad like Krillin, 18 and a half eaten 16. Like they are trash. And just in case you forgot how dangerously ass this squad was, let's revisit their performance against Cell. Look at Krillin. Oh no, don't hurt him, bro. Sorry, ass. Like, what are we doing here? I honestly don't know if I've seen a sorrier sequence of events. Cause right after that, we see 16 throw the. No. Honestly, bro, that's too much trash for one video. But you get my point. You expect trash shit from them. But y'all too? Come on, bro. That should have been easy. Should have jumped him, emoted on him, and made sure he never did that shit again. But nah, instead we get this man pulling up to him and Goku talking about some, oh no, trunks after he gets hit. Bro, get back for him. Attack him. Do something. Now his dumbass out there on some huh? Like, bro, you were next. He kicks him to 14 and he just like hmm, 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 hmm. Straight feasting, hitting him with mad gut punches. And after that, 15 comes in and they just start wilding on him. Like, look at this. Dr. Jiro always be in that lab making sure they have that jump programming. And I can't blame him. That shit is reliable as hell. Look what 18 and 17 did. They packed all the future Z fighters up in four. Easy money. One weird thing that happened after Goku got jumped. He sits there smiling like he's trying to make getting jumped look cool or something. It's not, bro. They see him smiling and they just like, oh, nah, stop that shit. Punches him into the wall and he goes falling down. And that's why I could never understand them chilling in base form. What did you accomplish? Like, look at Goku. He's trying to get up and walk it off. But that pain is real. Had him on all fours. Bro was out here chilling like shit was sweet, but it really wasn't. And to top it off, after getting jumped like that, this man 13 pulls up and just look at him. You know, he thinks his fit is cold. He's sitting there smirking like, oh, you know. Oh, I got this shit on. Trunks Young in the background like, That shit is fucking trash, dog. And 13's just like, I know good and well this capsule dork not talking to me. That trash ass fit. That yee ass cut. Boy, don't get me started. How much was your shit? 30? Oh. I'm listening to this like, why he say 30 like that? I should be 25. And that shit looks perfectly fine. Fuck you. And after I Trunks got flamed for his haircut face. being $30, they go back to jumping this man. And wow, what an awful look. Getting flamed and getting jumped right after just makes you look like a whole bitch. I'm sorry. I couldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Yeah, I'm lying. But still, that's horrible. So Trunks goes crashing down, making a nice Beyblade arena. And 14 like, you know what? I got two more for y'all. And makes glaciers fall on him. Yeah, he's going out a little too sad for my liking. Like, imagine having the bottom of someone's shoes on each side of your face. Come on now. You know what? Let's take a break from talking about trunks. Let's look at Goku and Indrigity 13. So it starts off with Goku throwing a big ass glacier at 13. He dodges it, flies to Goku, and Goku like, damn, yo shit. Boom. Not gonna lie, you gonna need that hat back. Yo cranium crazy. And 13 like, boy, I know good and well you not talking with that highlighter fit. Come here. Yep, he was built to defend himself verbally and physically. Kind of crazy how he winning in all aspects. And they start boxing. I'm not gonna lie. It was one-sided as hell. Only because this man still decides to not go Super Saiyan. For reasons I don't know. My guess is he wants to know what it's like to be Yamcha. And remember when I said we were taking a break from Trunks? Yeah, that break is over. So Trunks is sitting under loads of ice. And they're just staring at the rubble like, come on. 
we know you're not dead. And then this man started levitating out the ice like he in the avatar state. And someone needs to tell me why the hell he's smirking right now because you did nothing this whole time. So he starts ice bending and shit. Catching them by surprise, they didn't know he could do all that. 14 comes out the ice first and here goes Trunks with that damn sword. I'm not gonna lie, he needs to let that shit go. It hasn't done anything since Frieza. And there's proof that he's holding on to that one moment. Look at this. He flies to Andrigity 14, says psych, and he's up there. And look at that. That shit looks real familiar, doesn't it? Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> the Andrigity stops the attack with two fingers, and Trunks just like, <laughs> nervous as hell, and for the right reasons, because he hey, makes yo, him lean the to the fuck? left. And I kid you not, Trunks was holding on to that shit for 18 seconds before the Andrigity was like, all right, bro. Let go. And the worst part is, he got more use out of the sword than Trunks did. Look at him deflecting it. Trunks gets hit from the back, pause. But that shit had him falling like, ah, look at his face, bruh. That is no warrior. He gets hit with the knee, and this man slams his ancient fist on the back of his neck, sending his ass flying straight to the ground. And I can't even lie, Andrigity14 got that finishing badge. He knows how to close off a combo. Last time it was a pile of ice. This time, it's him flipping the sword and just like, Take that weak shit back. Surprised the hell out of Trunks. He like, damn, no one's fucking with the sword? Maybe I should put this weak shit down. Oh, no. Nah. That's the equivalent to getting robbed and all you had was an LG. And the robber like, yeah, you know what? You could keep that shit. Now you go home confused and looking at your phone in disgust. Because how someone that steals shit going to tell you that shit is not worth taking? Now you got to sit there and start questioning what you be buying. But now let's go to Goku and 13. 13 goes in the bag and pulls out the best move by an Andrigity. And it's not close. That shit is called SS Deadly Bomber. Now, take a look at Goku, bro. His ass still did not transform. And I know you see that he's sweating too. He's putting himself through unnecessary stress. He don't even know if he could hold it off. And from the looks of it, he can't. That shit is pushing him back OD. Then out of the depths of hell, with the third and Itachi late, a key blast comes through, easily pushing the attack away. And I'm sitting here wondering who down there? Who shot that key blast? It could only be one of two people, Piccolo or Vegeta. So I'm sitting here waiting for somebody to arise from the abyss. Tell me why. The ice wall behind Goku starts breaking. He comes out with one of the coldest entrances. I wasn't even worried about how Bro shot a key blast from hell and is somehow in the ice like Captain America. I was like, fuck it, we ball. But now that we're on the subject, you know the second he shot that key blast, his ass was zooming to get into position. Vegeta and his theatrics is a work of art at this point. You just gotta respect the effort he puts in. He really cares. Goku just like, bro, you was just camping in there? And Trunks like, nah. No way he was waiting. They was out there jumping me. My own father wouldn't let that happen, right? Right? Don't worry about all that. Break the entrance. I'm not gonna lie, what does the prince do on a day-to-day -day basis anyways? You know his unemployed ass didn't just get there. He definitely was sitting in the abyss for a good minute, plotting, deciding how he's about to pull the entrance off. But yeah, after all that, they started fighting again, each of them taking on their own one-on-one -on -one battles. But what happens next just makes me laugh because they get their ass beat in sync trunks is getting cte vegeta's getting used as a surfboard and goku's just getting bopped but bruh this gotta be the goofiest shit ever look at how they're just getting bodied and they just start smirking trunks is already down 3-0 no celtics so for him it's either cook up now or never but yeah they all turn super saiyan at the same time and they start going to work trunks sends 14 back this man 15 takes a whole sip stands there staring at him and then gets hit with the 50 piece combo and goku's out there playing dodgeball with 13 yeah he don't care about the earth for real i'm just sitting here wondering why it took them damn near 30 minutes to go super saiyan what was the whole point of everything that happened before it wasn't even like a warm-up all they did was feel pain but it's time for another legend of the pull-ups to show himself. This dumbass kid go on shoots a key blast at 13. That shit did zero damage. And if you're gonna help anybody, it should have been Trunks. When he was getting his ass jumped back then, 13 looks at him like, that weak ass key blast, let me show you a real one. He should be gone because you know Krillin not saving him, even though he's right next to him. Piccolo is just sitting under the map. I don't even want to know how long he was sitting there for. He deflects the key blast and saves Gohan. But the job's not finished because he goes to 13, grabs him by the leg, and throws him down. Now that's an entrance. Vegeta's was still better, but hey, y'all top two. Oh yeah, before I forget, there was this one scene in this movie that looked mad weird. And it was this. Why does Goku look evil as shit here? This demonic ass frame, who drew this? If I'm a villain, I am not messing around with it, bro. Get me out. Oh, now nah, this video is at 9 minutes and 30 seconds already. I didn't even get to the main part yet. So we're just gonna speed through real quick. All right, so long story short, Trunks restores honor to himself and his damn sword by getting another kill with that shit. 
Vegeta packs 15 up, and then they all surround Andrigity 13. All right, damn. Now he can finally get to the good shit. So he starts absorbing these parts, and he turns into like a combination of Broly, Vegeta, and a dark skin smurf. Like, look at him. Are you gonna tell me I'm wrong? So Vegeta goes up to him and punches him. This man sees that he does no damage, and he's like, you know what? Let me try it another 80 more times. After he finished his weak ass combo, he like, oh shit, I did no damage. Whoa, really? If the first weak ass punch didn't work, why would you throw 80 more of them? That's the time when you say, all right, bro, let's jump him. But no, instead he gets grabbed by both arms and gets sent falling to the ground. And Trunks is out here really pushing his luck because he pulls up to the new and improved 13 with no Super Saiyan. And he's trying to use that weak ass sword again. Like, bro, you got a losing record with that shit. Please put it down. It's not worth it. So obviously he gets bodied and Vegeta continues his descent. He gets slammed to the ground and then boom. And now it's time for the next victims, Piccolo and Goku. So they're both flying, right? And Goku's ahead of them. And this man sped up just to do no damage. And where is Goku? Bro was not that far behind, I promise you. He saw his feet pass and was like, oh no, Piccolo, no. Faking that shit the whole time. Somebody give him an Oscar. And he did it for the right reasons because when he pulled up the 13, he also did no damage. And he tried to spawn kill Goten. That shit was not the move. And you would think that all that torture would end there. But it doesn't because this man proceeds to throw bro in an ice alleyway and he continues to beat his ass even more. Look at the combos this man is giving him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, nah, somebody needs to help him because he's out there getting cooked. So he gets boomed out of the cave and goes into the water, descending down. But y'all already know he's the main character, so we don't gotta worry about that. But what we do have to worry about is Krillin being on the Z Fighters because he's way too sorry. Look at this. Bro was out there doing the same bad play Curry did when he tried to dunk. Try! And Dragity 13 starts walking Gohan down. And Goku starts ascending out the water with the spirit bomb. That boy Gohan sees a spirit bomb forming and he knows what time it is. Because he starts to tee up in the craziest way. He sees 13 is about to hit his father and he's like, nah, ain't happening. Damn, did you see how fast he moved? The key blast was already halfway there and you see how he caught up? That boy was not playing. That right there is someone you need on the squad. He didn't even hesitate. Goku's sitting there talking about some, hey bro, y'all gotta help me too. I'm trying to pull off this spirit bomb. And you know the Z fighters are not trying to hear that shit because it just means they get their ass beat even more. Look at Vegeta. His ass does not want to be up right now. He got that I'm just here so I don't get fined ass stance. The prince goes in and unfortunately he gets hit with the Bane backbreaking move. Pause. Nah. Resume. Anyways, Trunks hears all that loud ass yelling and hits 13 with the key blast. And I'm honestly surprised that that key blast made bro drop him. He was unfazed by everyone's attack. Trunks pulls up to start fighting him, but he gets cooked. But it's okay because we got one more man on the job. He charges that one attack again and Piccolo comes in clutch, making him throw the attack in the other direction, showing why you don't want to mess with them in the fourth quarter. And man, they ended this movie off with one of the toughest finishers of all time. Goku absorbs the spirit bomb. And then he calls ISO on Indrigity 13. Look at him standing on that rock alone. I know he's scared as shit. He tries throwing a punch and he starts disintegrating with no Thanos snap. Goku is just staring at bro full of rage and I'm like, yeah, it's time to say GG. You lost. He sends a punch going through the middle of his gut and sends him flying off. He explodes and yeah, it's over. Thanks for 149k. We move.